absolutely beautiful. Yes, girl with shaking hey. earrings, come through with the red lip. <laughs> you guys look absolutely beautiful. Who is excited for some girl chat? Yeah. I know I am. Well, you may remember when powerhouse singer Christina Aguilera burst onto the scene with her hit Genie in a Bottle. That was my jam. Yes. yes. But even before that, she was singing the letters M-I-C-K-E-Y. That's right, Christina was a member of the Mickey Mouse Club in the early 90s. And during a recent episode of Carpool Karaoke with James Corden, Christina admitted she was in a preteen love triangle oh. with fellow castmates Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. Ah, yes. Yes. Didn't that Christina, that. So much. <laughs> Christina revealed that she had a big crush on Justin because of his swag, but said, of course, there was Britney, and they had a thing back then. Corden went, Is then that Joe. the thing? That, right there, the magic. Yes, thing. that was hot that back was then. Thing. We, I thought that was I the coolest thing it. when they yeah, came back. I loved it. Oh. Jordan then joked on how well Justin and Britney's relationship ended up working out in the end. Not so well. But ladies, <laughs> it's always a hard situation when two women like the same man, don't you think? Is it though? Is it I a hard situation? Not. I mean, should it change who you are as a woman and who you should be to just pretty much win him if you're the right one? Win him? What do you mean? I just think, because I've been in that type of a triangle before where, Ooh, okay. Huh? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, do tell. What happened? <laughs> One guy and you've liked the same guy that yeah. another girl liked. Yes. Yeah. What happened? Because I always like the good-looking ones. No. You know, that okay. Okay. We got that. But what yes. happened? <laughs> Honestly, I just continued being myself in the most genie-esque way around him. Like I chill. I tell him to go. Let's go have coffee together. Uh -huh. Let's go. You know, do drinks together. I was just myself. Oh, so you were the girl. So you were the girl. She was busy. busy Honestly, she was busy. I. Mm, I don't know because I wasn't in her head. Right. But I think that she always was wanting to be really pretty around him. I think when you focus on trying to be pretty, you come off a little bit, like, Superficial. fake. And yeah. you come yeah. off like, you you know, she just always Warning. had this thing going on where everything she did. Wait, 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 but did he pick either of you? Did Girl, either of you end it? for three years. So yes, you Derek, won. You remember? You it was <laughs> not that girl. Yes. I Which am one? So, I'm not either what? of those girls, and I'm going to explain why. I am actually completely turned off if I even think I have to be in competition with anyone. And, like, I can't, like, I know this sounds, like, extreme, but I don't play any games I can't win. And I genuinely feel like, but why and I it say this all the time. It doesn't, but I'm going to say this. If I think that the guy even has, and, and this is genuinely who I am. This is yeah. me being real. I like guys that really like me. Right. Yeah. So, so I've never been the girl that's like, I want to go after him. It, it's most of the time that they have shown me they have such interest in me. They, they make time to be around me. Most guys have seeked me out in the sense, and what I'm saying is, that makes me fall in love with them. When I'm like, wow, you really like he me. You, you. You really take the yeah. time to get to know me. The moment, and this is real, I think a lot of people have maybe looked at some of the choices of the guys I've dated and been like, how does that make sense? I love them. I love them because they love me, because they've shown me what real love is. They, You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But what maybe society would have thought would have been like the hot look for me, I'm, I'm not into it. I know this sounds crazier. I don't like guys that a bunch of girls like. Yeah. Mm. Like, uh, I, I never look at him as like, oh, is he gonna choose me? <laughs> How lucky I would be. No, but like. That's what I mean. If you just, but if you're just you. No, I'm not saying that's you. Yeah. I'm just saying there are girls that actually are turned on yes. by being like, I'm gonna be the one that gets him. Yeah. Like oh. the celebrity guy, the football player, the, the, the hot guy or that's exactly. hot right now in music. If I felt like he was in that realm, for me, that has just been a turn yes. on. Yes. Like, I, I, get it. I imagine I never the women on The guy. Bachelor. I can't get imagine it. that, vying for one man's love on The Bachelor. Like, I wouldn't want to no. be in that crowd, you know, where you just got to be so on and extra in no. order to fight for the attention. No, I yeah. like you because you like me. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Where are you uh, in this? Well, I'm just thinking because, you know, growing up with a twin, you know, we oh. look exactly oh. alike. Oh. Do you see I'm what I'm saying? That. That's rough. By the grace of God, we don't like the same kind of man. Oh my God, <laughs> could you imagine? But you guys, it wasn't always that way though. So there was one time where both T and I liked, uh, you know, the same guy. No way. Yeah, and it's weird because, you know, when you really love the, you know, the sister, but you really like the guy, like if the guy chooses you know, me per se, I would be like, oh, but I don't, 
I don't want to see my sister sad. Yes. It, it, but that actually happened both ways. So there was one time where a guy actually liked me, yeah. and then there was a time where a guy just liked Tia. But in the end, I remember there was one guy, I'm not gonna say his name, he was a, uh, he, he was a celebrity, he's not a celebrity anymore. <laughs> But ah. we both, we went on a cruise. It was like a Sail with the Stars cruise and we both were falling for him. And we were like, So oh we God. can Google this, Yeah, right? I don't know, you can. I'm about to Google no, who was yeah. on that trip. This is the thing, he ended up liking me, yeah. but actually my sister is the one who won because he ended up being a not so cool dude. Do you yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So Tia actually won that one. Oh, what, I see what you're saying. See what what, what saying? you trying yeah. to say about Tia? No, no, no. no. She's saying Tia, Tia won because that guy was a waste of her time anyway. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? But yeah. Literally, does it ever become unattractive? Wait, a he, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> it, what she I means mean, is she lost because she ended up winning this guy, but he was whacked. So Tia oh, is free. God she is like, yes, 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 yes. I don't want to say I'm like, oh, yeah, he picked me. I won. Okay, this is my thing. This is my thing about this. I think this happens when you're young, young girl. Yes, and when you like, have especially when you're in high school, because yeah. you're going to yeah. find, like, you like a boy and then did that. Okay, listen to Auntie Lonnie, all right? <laughs> if this is happening to you and you're in high school, you know, first of all, get past your feelings. That's my first thing, okay? Yes. If you like a boy and you, you figure he likes somebody else, get past your feelings. And once mm -hmm. you get past your feelings, uh -huh. then I think you owe it to yourself not to be made a fool out of, okay? Yes. So it's like, you can still be his friend, but make sure that he's not making a fool out of you mm -hmm. or trying yes. to use you for something. Or, or trying to manipulate you. Know, or you, trying, trying to move to away, you know. Yeah. And then always remember there are other fish in the sea. So, oh, so maybe nice. you don't want to, you know, you may be like, oh, no, I love him. So but you true. know what? You can love a lot of people, yes, believe yes, that, yes. okay? That is so, so that's true. what I think. That's no. good advice, Aunt Chilani. Uh, you're welcome. Well, from revealing <laughs> secrets to gender reveals, the current trend for expecting parents is to throw an over-the-top gender reveal party. So, however, one father, who already had four daughters, recently went viral for his unexpected reaction during their family's gender reveal. Check it out. It's a girl! It's a girl! Oh. Yay! Where are you going, babe? Babe. <laughs> Like, for real, what's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. What the heck? So, he was not excited about having another girl. <laughs> Ladies. Oh, man. What should an expecting mother do if the dad-to-be is the one acting like the baby when it comes to their baby gender? Oh, I, well, I'm going to say, know. I think in that case, I think he was totally kidding. Yeah. yeah. He, like a he's guy. He said it in a fun way. Yeah, yeah. Yes. He's like, oh. I mean, the man has four women in his life, including his wife, five women. Give the guy a break. He needed to cool off, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, exactly, JD. Maybe he'll try again. Who knows? Um, but, oh, I thought oh, when <laughs> they do the gender reveals that they tell the dad. I thought it was for the other people. I oh, thought the no, parents... it's for both of them, Most actually. of the time, they're both finding out right then. It's kind of like what we did with Tamara. Yes. Well, who knows? No, but, but Adam, Adam, knew. Adam knew. But you didn't know. But I didn't. But we, we chose it to be that way. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with with a parent maybe hoping for a certain sex. Yeah. But if they're gonna have an attitude when it's revealed, I don't like that. Me neither. Because right. all oh. I want, seriously, is a, is a happy and healthy baby, yes. ultimately. Right. Yeah, so you didn't, but deep down, deep looking down. back now. Deep down, deep down, yes. You know, you didn't know. Back. Did you hope for a girl? I mean. Honestly, um, I hoped for, you know, a healthy, happy baby. I didn't mind if I was gonna have a boy or a girl. However, Adam, because he has a really great relationship with his brother, mm -hmm. he hoped that Aiden would have, you know, a brother. Oh. And we ended up having Araya, but guess what? Daddy is wrapped around that little Araya's oh, finger. Yeah. Once and the baby's there, yes, everything changes. He, yeah. No, he, I'm just, he I'm loves just her. concerned because some gender reveals they are serious, and you can see the parents are upset. Yeah, and, and that's that not, upsets me because then that, not fair. you know, that baby is going to see that one day. Absolutely. And so I, I have a concern about that. That's why I was like, I thought they, you know, I think if you know you're really truly going to be upset, I think you need to find out before we do I a agree. big party. Exactly. Before you embarrass yes. everybody and right. your future child when they look then, back yeah. at that video. But yeah. then it's not about the baby. If you really are that parent who is going to get emotional about not getting what you want when it comes to a baby being healthy, you gotta check yourself. You don't deserve that gender reveal party at all. Yeah. You need a moment. I'm so curious, like, 
Tam, if yes. you were to have a third child, let's just say, oh, okay. hypothetically speaking, okay. if you had a third child, what sex would you want? We already said happy and healthy, <laughs> that is given. We want happy and healthy. If you could pick the third sex of your third child, oh, that's so what hard, would you want, eh? a girl or a boy? Well, honestly, yeah. I would want to have a boy and girl twin. I would, because I would want Aiden to have a same sex yep. sibling yeah. relationship. Yep. The same as you Araya. want two more. I, I, if if I'm gonna do it again, three is an odd number, you know. Yeah. Well, they already say going well, one you know, to two is hard. Well, you know, we've been talking about this, America, and I'm really trying to work on her having she another really baby. She really is. Do I it. Really am. I Boy think... and girl, and it's just one more pregnancy. Okay. You, guys, you just want me to be pregnant. You say I do. I do. I no. want us to be miserable together. <laughs> <laughs> what? What, well, Jeannie? I'm just, I'm just wondering, I'm picturing it because I know how much Tamara really loves being a mom. She's got I her do. kids' names on this necklace and I her really ring. I do, so, I which do, I do. is why I'm like, you're saying if. So there's a high possibility. You're okay. saying and there's a chance. <laughs> no, this is what I'm doing, you guys. I'm literally leaving it up to God. Um, I'm not on birth control. Oh. It hasn't like Ooh. snip, snip, snip. Ooh. Hold on. What? But I'm waiting until I'm like 42. Once I'm, so if it happens, it happens. But yes. once I turn 42, mm -mm. But you're not preventing it. You're not yeah, doing I'm no blockage, no. stuff like that. No, I'm not You listening to my positions I'm telling you to do and stuff. The ones I told you it. worked last time. It sure wow. did. Wow. Got you, girl. Yep, the so, cows yeah, is the cows. I know what I need yep. to do. I need to get some liquor over there now. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> wow. Some berry white. That's Let's move on. One way to make a baby is having sex. Uh -huh. However, according to Refinery29, <laughs> if you're gonna have rebound sex after a breakup, you need to make sure you're doing it for the right reasons, you guys. Mm. They say if you're just trying to get back at your ex or trying to escape your emotions, rebound sex can actually make things worse. Mm -hmm. They say rebound sex should really be about reconnecting with your sexuality. So ladies, do you think rebound sex is a foolproof way to get over someone, or wait, just plain wait, foolish. Wait, what is rebound sex? Because I be having sex, I don't care. <laughs> I know, I, I know. know. But, but that's exactly right. You're having sex in a different position. Yeah. It's if you've just gotten your heart broken, or yeah. you've just got out of a And you're using it to get over your yes. ex. Which for me, I personally could. Oh, that's what that's called? Yes. yes. Oh, I, I just thought it was a, having a good time. That's it is, called. it is. It is having a good time. Okay. I personally. If I was doing it just to have a good time, girl, I'm right there with you. I can have a good time. <laughs> but if I'm doing it to get over somebody, I don't feel in my heart well, I Jeannie, could do that. Well, Jeannie, since we're being, you know, having revelations today at the <laughs> yes. table. Yes. You know, you're newly divorced. Have you had rebound sex? <laughs> uh, no, no, actually, and, and even Adrian and I have talked about this, I haven't had um, sex just to get over that because- But you've had sex. No. Have you had fools? What is happening here? What are we do? Did you have you fooled around? Yeah, you <laughs> done fooled around. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. You always about me about getting you back. back. <laughs> my point is, <laughs> when it comes to rebound sex, it's for my team. Oh, when it comes to rebound sex, why you get hot, Why you get all hot? She Look, thinks about it. No, thinks about it. God. So you're saying there's a change? No, <laughs> no I just don't think. <laughs> I think women are very <laughs> sensitive when it comes to their, their emotions. Yeah, I uh -huh, think, yeah. yes, you can have sex. She slid around. through that. Yeah, well, yeah, she did that. Too. Can we just keep those okay, birds right, away? Right, Nobody's right. sliding okay. anywhere. Okay, okay, okay. But I, oh, I, I, I just am careful about having sex just to get over something because you're only messing with yourself at uh -huh. the end of the day. You really, the only way to get over something is to get over it. Yeah. Yeah. proper time. Face yeah. it. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna tell you, if, if, if you have feelings for somebody, seriously, sex is not gonna, you know, change that. No. You know what I mean? Because you, I mean. You know, I might make it worse. Just, yeah, it yes. may, yeah, because then you realize, you, then you start comparing. Yeah, you know, like, yeah. oh my God, he doesn't do it like he does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you, sometimes you can end up playing yourself hardcore. Ooh. Like for instance, let's say you, uh, a guy doesn't want to be with you. Like he's like, I'm unsure about us, we should take a break, right. right? And then you go and you sleep with someone else, right? Right away, thinking I'm gonna get him back, whatever, eh, right? And then he finds out that literally when you, when you, guys weren't together, you went and slept with somebody else. Oh, yeah. What if that dude is like, ooh, thank God I stayed away from that girl. She's out here just being loose. Yep. 
And that actually well, can make your chances yeah, with the guy okay, that you that's a know. whole different, you know, that, no, that's your personal that could actually, preference. That could actually make the guy that you wanted to end up with look at you differently as well. No, I look at him differently if he out there hoeing, so no, it don't okay. matter. <laughs> he, said, he 